Hey everyone, it's Mike here from Clicked Marketing. And what I'm gonna share in this video is some of our project management workflows that we use at Clicked to handle SEO projects and content marketing, link building, social media, whatever we're doing for clients and make sure uh, that we can handle the projects and that nothing falls through the cracks. Here we use a tool called monday.com. There's a lot of project management solutions out there. And what I'm gonna share with you, is this is not a, a sales video for monday.com, although it's definitely, if you're looking for a project management tool, it's one I would highly recommend. And I'll leave a link down below where you can get more information about it and try it out for yourself. But what I'm gonna share in this video is, is more about the workflows and I, you can adapt it to most project management solutions that are out there. I'm a bit of a project management junkie. And I think I've been through just about every tool that's out there. Years ago, I started with Basecamp and Basecamp was very popular at the time, still pretty popular. I don't think they've done a good job of keeping up though with what's out there. Doesn't The workflow inside of it just doesn't work as well for, for me and for us. Um, I've been through Trello, Asana, Freedcamp, uh, I mentioned Basecamp, Favro, uh, ClickUp, every tool that's out there pretty much, Airtable, we, we've used it, I've used it at some point. A few months ago, we moved to monday.com and we've been really happy with it. Again, this is not a sales promotion for monday.com, but uh, it's definitely a tool I recommend. What I wanna share though really is just kind of the workflow that we use and you can adapt that within your own organization or if you're a, a freelancer or solo SEO, you can adapt it to keep track of your projects and make sure that nothing falls through the cracks. Now, one thing I do need to mention though is, is I'm gonna go over some of the terminology within Monday because each project management tool, a lot of them use similar terminology, but some of them use slightly different terms to mean the same thing. So just so that you understand what I'm talking about, I'm just gonna go over a few terms that, that Monday uses. As far as the organization within Monday goes, the, the largest organization is called a workspace. And this is a workspace here. And then within, within a workspace, you have boards, and then within boards, you have groups. So for example, this is our, this is just a, a demo account I set up, um, not an actual project, but this is our content marketing uh, and content creation board that we use. Inside the board then, this would be the groups. So we have groups of working on, ready to publish, needs edits, and our pipeline, and then things that are published. Those are each groups on the board. So to show you then, and then each, individual item is, is just that each task is an item. A uh, few years ago, Monday used to call them pulses. So if you find some old documentation um, that references pulses, pulses were tasks or items within your, your project. And they actually have a feature where you can <clears throat> custom, you can customize items to call them whatever you want. So whatever works for your organization, you can change the name and call them whatever you want. So this is our content marketing and content creation board. And the way that we work, we start with the pipeline. Okay, we have the pipeline down here. These are the ideas that we're generating and brainstorming that we may wanna work on and create, uh, whether it's internal content or external content. And that's the first thing that we decide. So if we have some ideas, something we wanna publish, we decide is this gonna be a blog article on the, uh, on the site? Is it gonna be, we call them resource pages, which are static pages that we may create. It's gonna be a press release. Um, normally, actually, I forgot to add it in here in this demo one, but we'd have a Google My Business post for some clients that, that are doing local SEO. And then we have uh, external, which means this is something that we're gonna use perhaps in a outreach or a guest post somewhere, or something that's gonna be published externally from the site. So let's say we're gonna create a blog article. So the next thing we would do when we're creating a piece of content is we would write an article brief. And the article brief is to give to the writer its instructions for them. We might want a certain, you know, we're looking for 800 to 1,000 words. We might want certain headings used or certain topics covered. Anything that we might want from this article that we want to, to give to the writer, we do in the article brief. And when we start working on the article brief, we have an automation set up that what happens then is this would move up into are working on group. Once the article brief is done, and what we do is there's, within the task, there's comments here, everything gets attached to the task. We would put the article brief here. So it might be something like uh, 1200 to 1500 words about XYZ. 
compare and contrast to ABC and whatever instructions we decide to, to give to the writer. So that would go there. So once the article brief is done, we assign it to a writer and we have different articles we use and different, or excuse me, different authors we use on different projects, um, including we might add some like text broker, iWriter, um, some of the article farms that are out there, maybe uh, Upwork we might work with, um, some of the freelancer sites, wherever the article is going to be written, we would put it here. So we're going to give this one to Nikki and we send it to her. So the status we change to writing. Once we get it back from her, uh, assuming that we're we're satisfied with it, we there's a couple ways we do this. We either um, add a column here where we'll attach the file as a Word document. We'll put it, or we add a column where we'll put it into Google Docs and we'll attach a link where we can share it, or we just attach it um, right within here. But that doesn't the layout doesn't look as good and doesn't work as well. So we usually attach it as a Word document or uh, most of the time it's as a Google Docs file that we share and we share it with the client. And what we would do then is we change its, the status to approval needed. Everything that we're publishing, we get okay from the client first. Uh, we don't publish anything without their okay. And what will happen then is it'll change the owner of the task to the person who has to approve it, whether it's the owner of the business or if there's a marketing department, whoever is involved that needs to approve it. That happens automatically with uh, automation that we have set up within Monday. And if they like it, they change it to approved. And what happens then is it moves to this group called ready to publish. If for some reason there was something about it that they didn't like, they would change it to needs edits which moves it to this needs edits column and they would add any notifications. So I can't tag myself. I don't think so. I'll tag. I just added uh, one of our workers in here and I would uh, please change whatever they want changed. And they would put notes in there about what, what it was they weren't comfortable with the article. We take that back to the writer. We get the edits that we want. And then we would change it again to approval needed status and it moves it back up here. Customer this time they're happy with it. So it goes to approved and then we publish it. And when we publish it, we would put the date that we publish it. So we publish it today. We would also include the link here where it was published, the URL, and then we change this to published. And that immediately goes down to this published column. So again, the workflow, whatever we're writing, um, let's say we're doing a resource page and we get the, once the article brief starts get, being worked on, it moves up to the working on status, uh, working on group. Um, when we get that done and we have this progress bar here, which is just kind of a, an easy way for me to, to look at the project and see where things are. You can edit this though to change the weighting. So if there's a part that you've, you know, you want it a uh, higher weighting on any of these statuses, you can change that. I just have them equal 25% each. And this one we will give to Kevin and he's writing on it. Once that gets back to us, as long as we review it first, just to see if there's anything that the, the writer didn't follow instruction wise. And once we're happy with it, we go to approval needed. Again, it changes that the, the customer gets notified. They'll get a, a notification in here that there's something that needs their approval. They approve it and it goes down to ready to publish status and it changes the owner. In this case, I have it as me, but it could be anyone within our organization who's responsible for that. And once we publish it, it moves down to the published area. And now the progress is 100% that it's complete. And again, I would add the date and uh, the URL where it was published. Now, one thing that is set up on here, you'll notice a social media 
marketing. So this is attached to this other board for our social media marketing. And the reason that we have it linked up is there's another automation that happens that when anything gets published, it automatically, here's the first one and the other one that we just went through, it automatically gets pushed into the, the social media board. And the reason for this is usually when we publish something, uh, whether it's a blog article or resource page, whatever we publish, we usually want to share it on social media. So it automatically creates this new task within the social media board. And very similar in social media, we have pipeline. Uh, anything that's ready to publish needs edits, things that we're working on. This works pretty much the same way. Um, we do have, so in this particular project, we're just doing Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter, but you could add other um, platforms that you want to work with. And let's say this one's just going to get published to plot to uh, Facebook. And we would do the same thing where we put it in for approval needed. These new ones that just came through, we want that to go to Facebook and Twitter. And this one, we let's say we want to go to all three. Again, we would put the approval needed. And once the customer approves it, it goes, they or they decide that it needs edits, it'll move to ready to publish. Once we publish it, we mark it as, as published and put the date that we published it and it goes down into the last group. Okay, so on here, I, did, I didn't put the automation in for the change in ownership when we change these statuses. So let's go back. And the reason that I didn't do that is I want to show you how easy this is in monday.com. A lot of project management tools will give you automations and they, they have automation features in them, but I think a lot of them make them more difficult than they need to be. This is one thing that Monday does really well and makes this really simple. All you do is you go to automate and we have some automations here already, but you click on the add new automation and they have all these already built in and you can also create custom ones. So if there's not an automation there that you want, you can, for the most part, you can create it. What we're gonna do is a status change. And what we want is when the status changes, we assign someone as the assignee. So we're going to do when the status of the, prod, of the task changes to approval needed, we're going to assign Ashley as the owner. Add that to the board. Okay, so now this one gets to approval needed and it changes Ashley to the owner. So that's how easy it is to set up automations. And again, there are a ton of automations. Um, oops, ton of automations already created for you that you can use within monday.com. This is literally, there's just pretty much anything you can think of that you might wanna automate, Monday will do it. And if it doesn't, you can create custom ones and that's pretty easy to do too. And I'll show you one more uh, board that we use. This is our link building board. And kind of similar, this one usually the customer is not as involved with. There's nothing that they need to approve. Um, this is more for us. So once we have, so let's say we have our pipeline, um, we'll put a list of different types of links that we're creating. And we have uh, a status drop down here for the type of link it is. So for example, this one's best of the web. So this is a directory. So we put that in as a directory. We also have options for outreach or guest posts, uh, Harrow, network sites, web 2.0s, other, other things we might do. And, and depending on the project, I might add a, a couple other ones that we're focusing on here, but this kind of covers most of them. So this is a directory. And in this case, let's say we are working on this. We get it submitted. And then what we'll do is we'll wait till we get the notification that the submission has been approved and that it's live. And we'll put the date that it went live. So let's say we got a notification today that this went live. We'll put the link URL in here. And then we just mark it as done. And it goes down into the completed section. Um, we do this for basically every type of link that we're building. Um, again, we have uh, directories we might use, outreach, Harrow, um, any any other type of links that don't necessarily fit into one of these uh, network sites that we're building. We don't really do much Web 2.0 these days, but I, I put it there. Most everything is focused on something in, in here.
and that's how we handle our, our link building tasks and, and keep track of them. Uh, if we do a, a Harrow submission, like let's say this one was, we will submit it. And what I do is we actually copy what we submitted to them here and and then that'll date it also. Any any comments you put in here will leave a date and we'll track it that way then. And if it gets approved and goes live, we'll put the date that we get notified that and the link so we can keep track of it. And then we can we do that so that we can take that link if we want to do further link building to that link. Then we, we have it easily to access here. We'll create a new task for that, get started on that. So pretty simple um, for link building. And again, this is just what we do for social media marketing, content creation, link building. Um, for a web audit, we would do a, a separate board. Uh, for on-site SEO, we would do a separate board. And, and then we just keep track of all the tasks that are happening within there. But this gives you kind of an idea of the workflow that we use to keep track of everything. And again, we invite the clients in. And I actually, the way we work is we try to avoid email as much as possible. Every one of these tasks has these messages attached to them. And that's where almost all of our communication happens with the client and with one another that we're on the task we're working on so that no emails get lost. There's no excuse that, hey, I didn't get your email. Um, holds us accountable too, because I can't say to a client, hey, we didn't get your email. Nothing goes in the spam filter. We log into this every single day so we can see everything. I'd encourage the clients to log in at least every other day just to keep track of what's going on. And we handle all our communication inside these. And it's very easy uh, if you're familiar with social media, works the same way. Anyone that's in the project, you just do an at sign and their name and you can tag them. Once you put the comment in, they'll get a notification that hey, somebody left a comment for you and they can go see it. That's just a quick overview of how we handle our project management workflows for SEO, pay-per-click advertising, social media, content marketing, whatever, whatever we're doing for clients and how we keep track of all our tasks and make sure nothing falls through the cracks. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video.